was the day before Christmas, December 1982. It was minus 40 degrees centigrade. For anybody who has trouble converting, that's minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> it was 30 mile an hour winds, and I was 1,000 miles east of Moscow in the foothills of the Urals in the Siberia. And for those of you who are history challenged, 1982, the Soviet Union was the evil empire. It was sanctioned. We hadn't gone to the Olympics. Russia was at war in Afghanistan. Hmm. That's gone on a while. And Korean jet had been shot down. And what are a bunch of Americans doing in the middle of Russia? Well, I was there as the startup chief for a major chemical plant, actually petrochemical plant, to make plastics, no booing, it was 1982. <laughs> Today I wouldn't be doing that. To make a, a massive amount of plastics and, and polyester. Um, and we were to be starting up this huge petrochemical complex, um, and they had chosen the day of the startup, December 25th thought it would be quite appropriate to have us all working hard that day. <laughs> and this unit was quite unique. It had, a react it had four reactors, actually, that went 300 feet into the air. And we had loaded the first bottom three reactors. You load from the bottom up. And we got to the very top reactor. And down inside of it, after we had been preparing it, you have to kind of heat it up and dry it out. There was some damage, and I was like, oh shit, well, actually, it was probably a little worse than that. You know, they want to start up tomorrow, and there's damage. So I go to the contractor who's running the project, French contractor, so you'll, you can imagine what they said when I said, we have a problem, we're not going to be able to start up. They're like, not my problem, you go talk to the Soviet team. So I go and sit down with the Soviet team and, and sit with them, and I said, we have a problem, we have to fix this reactor. And they said, nope, we're not fixing the reactor. We sent the telex to Moscow, and we said we're starting up tomorrow. I said, do you realize if we start up, the catalyst is going to leak out, millions of dollars lost, we'll be down all winter, it'll be a disaster. They're like, do you not understand? This is the Soviet Union, and we sent a telex to Moscow saying we're starting up. So what do you do? You know, I'm a young startup engineer in the middle of nowhere, and it's not like I can phone a friend. In those, <laughs> in those days, there was no cell phones, there were no faxes, there was no email. You had to book a call two weeks in advance, and you had to get a telex approved two weeks in advance. So I'm on my own. So what did I do? I said, I've got to do something. This has got, got to be done my way, not their way. So what I did is I actually climbed up the 300 feet to the top reactor, and I said, I looked in, and the reactor is about 20 feet long, and it's fairly wide, but it's got a big pipe in the middle, like a donut, and it's got an annulus about this big. I was a little smaller then, so I said, OK. I went and I climbed down to the bottom of the reactor, 20 foot down, and I chained myself in. And I said, guys, you have a choice. You can either load Catalyst on top of me and start up, or you can come in and fix the reactor. That kind of threw them for a little bit of a spin. <laughs> and luckily, if you think about it, Russia, they didn't have a lot of little Russians. There aren't a lot of little ones. <laughs> So they, they really didn't have many people who could go down inside and pull me out of this. And I had brought some water and food, and they, let, they didn't want me to be in the dark, so they left me a little light. So it actually was a little bit warm. So after about seven hours of this sitting in the bottom of the reactor, they realized, in fact, now we were into Christmas Day. You know, the game is going to be up. I'm not moving. So they came down in, and we went and fixed the reactor. We got the unit then started up, but guess what happened next? The next day, the Minister of Oil and the head of the KGB flies from Moscow 
to see who's this foreign bastard who's creating all this trouble, putting himself in a reactor. I sat down with them and they said, what are you doing? You're crazy. I said, you would have lost millions of dollars. You would have been down the entire winter. This would have been a disaster. They said, but listen, we have rules we sent to Telex. I said, <laughs> I said, but listen, I have rules. I don't screw things up. We do things right in where I come from. This isn't politics. This is about doing it right. They said, but why did you do such a trick? I said, because I realized in your system, I had to give you a bigger problem than just the Telex to Moscow. The bigger problem would be, what would they say to you if they killed a foreigner by loading catalyst on top of him and starting him up? The KGB guy actually looked at me and said, you know, that's a pretty good idea. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, that's how you start up a chemical plant in the middle of a Russian winter, in the middle of Siberia. Thank you.